to start your tessellation, draw any shape that you like up above on the top side of your parallelogram. Once you have that drawn on top, then you should just cut out that very first template for your parallelogram. You're going to have to do this three separate times. Now that you have this, your template, take your template and match it to your second photocopy parallelogram and copy exactly that same pattern that you did on the top side to the same matching top side. But then you're going to take that template and you are going to flip the template and draw that exact same pattern except that it will be flipped. What's going to happen when you do that, when you flip it like that and then trace that pattern, is you're going to have a row of shapes facing one direction and then on your grid the next row is going to be facing a separate direction. So that's the whole purpose of flipping that one so that you'll have a little extra detail in your final shape. Now you're going to have to draw the a shape on the other side of your parallelogram that has no shape yet. This will be the back half of your figure. And as soon as you draw that on there, then you can go ahead and cut out this figure. And we'll be using a third tessellation or a third parallelogram pattern to finish this off. Now you're going to take that pattern that you've just traced out and you're going to trace it out exactly as it is with the top, bottom, and back side. When you finish tracing that pattern, you're going to slide your whole pattern forward so that the two sides that are across from each other on your parallelogram will match. You're just going to slide your whole pattern forward and draw the back half of the figure onto the front half. Okay, so you just have to lay your pattern down as you've slid it forward. Trace that so that you have the identical pattern from the back onto the front. And then once you finish that, you can go ahead and cut that out and that will be your final tessellation pattern. And hopefully you're seeing some shapes come out of yours and seeing some different uh, ideas, animals, figures, people, it doesn't matter. You'll be creative on that as to what you see and add your detail into that. Once you've done your cutout, you can do a little doodle on it if you want, if you see a pattern or a design that you don't want to forget at this point. Uh, I don't know if you're going to see animals or your people or just a pattern that you've got there. If it's going to be something cute or something monster-like, it doesn't matter. Uh, but then you can take your pattern, your tessellation pattern, and you can sketch it out on your grid. Again, remember if you don't want those grid lines to show on the paper that I sent you, just tape another blank piece of paper over top of it and you should be able to see those grid lines underneath. If not, you can always make the grid lines a little bit darker with marker or pen or something and then they should show through uh, that other paper. Now what I want you to notice is when you're doing your second row, you do have to flip that tessellation. So what's going to happen in your first row, your shapes are going to be facing one direction and then in your second row, your shapes are going to be facing uh, the other direction.